morning everyone it's jelani the morning scriptures came from deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9 and um first john 5 verses 1 to 3 let us pray heavenly father in the name of our lord jesus christ we give you thanks for a not a lovely day and a lovely week so far dear lord um i want to thank you for waking us up this morning as always for waking up, up not just us up but our loved ones also families and friends and everybody who who is awake we just give you thanks for everybody that is awake this morning we pray that you continue with us that we do not depart from you because we know that is only you that sustain our lives and we pray that this life that you have given us, we give it back to you so that you can conform it and mold it and shape it to the image of your dear son, even our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we can fulfill all things and live a life that is pleasing unto you and glorify your name in everything that we do, shining that light of Christ in a dark place. Lord, as always, lead us in your word. I pray that every single word that is spoken is spoken in spirit and in truth so that every one of us every single one of us be edified and um, just remain in you so we thank you for your love and we thank you for all things through our lord jesus christ we pray amen cool all right so deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 9 says know therefore that the lord your god is god the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and his co and his commandments to a thousand generations. And then 1 John 5 verses 1 says, Know therefore that the Lord your God, sorry, the whosoever believeth that Jesus Christ, Jesus is the Christ, let me start over. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Right? So, this is again speaking about the love of our God and what we need to be doing to be faithful. Because he's a faithful God, right? He's the only one true God, as Deuteronomy would have said. And he's the one that keeps covenants, right? And he's the one that sets up covenants. And his love is why he sets up covenants, right? Because he loved us. He loved us first, right? And he bet betrothed, is the, yeah, I think that's the word, betrothed us, right? for himself yet is we that went away from him from the beginning right through sin so when it says um the lord is he is god it's just showing you that there's none else there's no other god i know people will say oh but how do you explain the hindu gods and the muslim god and the um what other what other religion did they um hindu buddhist god um and all of those gods what how can i disprove them well i be disprove them based on my faith because uh, my faith is in one god and is only one true god and he made known himself to us his creation through his son jesus christ our lord so anybody who confessed that jesus christ is the lord and he was begotten of our heavenly father to manifest our heavenly father to us here in this life then we, 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 we're on the same page there but any other worship of any other thing then my faith is what disproves it all uh, right and obviously everybody's free to believe what they want to believe i'm not going to hate anybody because that's not what i'm called to do but that is my belief right so when i say the, the lord my god is god that's what i mean i don't he, he doesn't have any partners he doesn't share his godhead with anybody right it's one god and he has manifested himself to us through our lord jesus christ 
right? So he said he loved those who keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So this is in Deuteronomy. This is in the Old Testament to show you that our God doesn't change at all, right? Same thing he proclaimed from then, he's proclaiming now, right? He loves us, yes, but obviously we have to do something in return to receive his full perfect love and that is to keep his commandments right and we know in the old testament they got the commandment that the greatest commandment was to love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy soul with all thy mind and the second was like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself because on those two hung, hung all the law and the prophets right and in john there we just see um we, we we have perfection through Jesus Christ. Because we know even the covenant what was said there in Deuteronomy when they were given that. That covenant was broken by us, his creation, right? So he set up a new covenant covenant through the, the, the blood, the sanctification of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, right? So that's why it says anybody who is born of God loveth him that, okay? We, we love him. We are born of God if we reside in jesus christ right so we have to love jesus christ to love god because we can't love god and bypass jesus christ right as i said we go through jesus christ he's our high priest he's our king he's a manifestation of our heavenly father here with us right in us and with us by his by his presence and his holy spirit right so yes yeah, so by this we know that we love the children of god when we love when we keep his commandments so same thing there i talk about keeping his commandments and now we know that jesus christ came fulfilled all things and he has um given us new commandments but they're not when i say new commandments because somebody it, it it's more like a perfection of what we needed to do from the beginning right so we got the initial commandments to keep us in check but jesus christ fulfilling all things he 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 taught us what is true righteousness, right? So like when he said, love one another as I have loved you. That is showing you that we, could, we couldn't have gotten that commandment before Jesus Christ because he didn't come to teach us how to love perfectly, right? I don't know if I'm making myself clear. But um, just know that the commandments, new commandments, what he gave us is still the premise of love, right? But because he perfected it and he could teach it, then he told you what it was to have true love true righteousness through him right and um yeah if we love if we love jesus christ if we love like how he loved each other right then the love of god is is made manifest in us also right and it shows us there that the commandments his commandments is not grievous it's not something burdensome it's not something that we can't do yeah, we can't do it of ourselves, yes, but it's not something that we can't do if we ask him to, for his help, if we ask him for his spirit to help, help us with it. And um, as I said, it, it is love that is the, the, the nucleus that keeps everything together. If you don't love, if a man say he loves God and hates his brethren, he is a liar. That's what that's what is it's written and it just makes sense, right? Because if God is love and you hate somebody, then how can you love God if you hate somebody what you see, but yet still God is love, right? It makes no sense. You can't hate and love at the same time. <laughs> and if you're in that spot and you're hating and loving at the same time, don't get me wrong, but make sure that you're working towards the mark of Christ Jesus. And when you follow that, that mark and go after Jesus Christ, hate it would be um, dissipated. It would cease to exist, right? It would abide in his perfect love. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that this morning, everyone. Um, it's good, come, uh, good um, scriptures there. But just remember that it's not grievous. I know it might seem sometimes bore, a boring lifestyle because people might look and say, ah, I have to love everybody so I can't, I can't pop off on somebody when I dare them. Or, no, no. Trust me, you would, you would enjoy your life. If you abide in love, you, you, you is so much more peaceful than a life with hate and envy and strife and all of that stuff. Because those things consume you from within. 
Whereas love is just the perfect peace and, and tranquility that we will have in our Lord Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that, as I said this morning. Um, just remember that the email address is out for your questions. Um, it can be any questions. It doesn't have to be biblical. But I will, by the grace and the Spirit of God, use the, the, the Word of God in a relatable way to answer any questions you have pressing on you. It can be biblical. It can be just any general question, right? And the email address is in the description is the word at each reach one dot org. So I'm look, look forward to see some messages, some emails and whosoever have my number can always just WhatsApp it to me. But um, I prefer the email so I can like keep a, a, a log because WhatsApp gets all over the place. Um, so yeah, have a good morning, everyone, and a good day and yeah, we'll catch up tomorrow.